So I've seen a lot of people that would try to learn a game engine really quickly and they would just watch a whole ton of tutorials and they would keep doing that, but they would never actually get to the point where they make their own games. They're kind of just following step-by-step -step guides and they learn how the engine works. They just never really get to the point where they make their own game. That happens to a lot of people, including myself. I, I had this problem as well. So here's how I figured out how to get out of that. It was basically just try to make your own game. Like you learned enough tutorials, you've already you know the basics of the engine. Try to make a game. Now, like you're gonna come across stuff. Like let's say, okay, I'm I'm working on my project. Um, how do I do player shooting? Uh, you can look that up on Google. You can look up how how to instance objects or move objects towards positions, and you just go step by step and break down your project and keep moving forward with it. And once you do that, you'll actually learn a lot more because you have to understand every single system. When you're watching a uh, tutorial, you are just kind of going step by step, not really taking note of all the systems. Now, you could be watching tutorials and try to do that, but you learn the most by experimenting yourself. But you should always start with tutorials and going through that. I watched one of Heartbeat's tutorial series on Godot, and I've actually, I, I learned the basics of Godot. And so I took that knowledge I've learned from the tutorials and I started working working on my own stuff in Godot. And I actually recreated the first game I've ever made in Game Maker, and I did that in Godot. That's basically, I just kept Googling stuff I didn't know, and I just kept moving forward with it. And if you need to ask other people and, and ask a question, feel free to. Like, I have a Discord channel like dedicated to helping other people and discussing and stuff. It's kind of just learning for yourself how the engine works and building upon that. But I would say for your first game, like in the game engine, just try to keep it simple even if you have worked with other game engines and done bigger games before try to go back to simple and try to make something small because that's where you're gonna learn and be able to actually finish that project and that's and that's what i did with my project i did a little space side scroller you just move it follows the mouse on the y axis and you're able to shoot and destroy enemies and so that's basically that's the goal is to learn the very basics of what makes a game and then you keep building upon that with every game you keep making something that you haven't done before and i feel like that's how you learn a game engine really quickly that's how i learned godot in one month but that you can really translate this to any game engine it's not just godot like yeah sure it might, some game engines might actually be um more complex like let's say unity for example it tries to be so much at once and it gives you so much more different options but you could still you could still learn the basics you don't have to use every single feature to know it like i think that's kind of a, a common misconception in developing a game engine and developing a game in the game engine is you have to know every single function you have to know every single property on how to do stuff you could know every single property you could know every function and still not be able to make a game it's not about that it's learning how to problem solve and be able to um keep building upon what you have and asking questions and, and basically just keep moving forward with your project and that's kind of how it comes down to learning a game engine or really learning any kind of type of software in general you just get used to the ui through tutorials and stuff and then you start make going on and try to make your own stuff and that's that's just my my advice on learning game engines so i challenge you guys for everyone that hasn't made a game yet on their own at least try to try to make something simple like there's a lot of tiny mobile games out there they're very simple and they're able to execute their ideas well try to make something like that try to do like the bare minimum because you're you're gonna be able to learn from that either way you only learn from your failures so if you don't ever try to make a project and you just learn from uh, other people's tutorials you aren't failing you aren't learning how to um how things work you're just kind of watching as people show you how they work I'm, I'm still i'm not saying that tutorials are useless i'm just saying that um if you're trying to do a tutorial on making an entire game you can do that and you learn the basics but then you gotta kind of go off and try to make your own games now there's obviously tutorials that are just like based on like one thing on like how to do a specific shader or something and that's just fine like like you can easily integrate that into any game and uh you can still learn from that as well but experimenting with that stuff on your own too like shaders and stuff just experiment with that and you can find stuff in the documentation and all that and so i think that's basically what boils down to learning a game engine i hope you guys learned something new from this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one